Welcome to this uh, Unity quick tip video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to, uh, using Cinemachine, create a little switcher script so to swap cameras between our third person camera here and a first person camera, which we've got set up over here. The script is a static helper script, so it doesn't sit on any objects within the hierarchy. It just sits in our folder. We've got our camera switcher script here. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So first of all, I'm going to add in a component here. I'm going to call it just the player. And let's just open up this player script in Visual Studio. So in our player um, script, I'm just going to do using Cinemachine. And we'll have a serialized field. And we want a Cinemachine virtual camera, and we'll call this a third person cam. And we can just duplicate that and call it first person cam. And then we just need an update method and say if input dot get key down, get key down, and we'll do uh, key code dot space. So if that button's down, uh, we want to switch our camera. So let's go back to Unity and we'll quickly make a static script. Um, because it's static, it won't be needed to sort of be sat on any sort of game object. And I'll just call this uh, camera switcher. So we can just have the script here. Uh, and we want to come up here to using Unity, uh, sorry, we need to come up here to and type using Cinemachine. I want to get rid of the start and update, swap this to a public static class and get rid of the mono behavior, because again, it's not actually sat on an object, it's just a little helper tool. So the first thing we need is we need a static list of Cinemachine, Cinema Machine virtual cameras and we will just call this cameras and we will set this equal to a new list of Cinemachine virtual cameras. And we'll want a static Cinemachine virtual camera and we'll call this one active camera. And we can set this to public and just assign it null straight away. So the first thing we want to do is we just want to make a public static void function called register. And this is going to take in a Cinemachine virtual camera called camera. And we want also a public static void uh, unregister So from our player script, um, in our on enable function, we want to get the camera switcher script and we want to register our third person cam as well as our first person cam. And then we want to do on disable and we can do camera switcher dot unregister third person cam and first person cam. Back in our camera switcher script, when we register a camera, all we're doing is we are adding that camera to our list of cameras. And opposite to that, when we deregister our camera or unregister our camera, we want to remove it from our list of cameras. And just to show this working, we'll do a debug.log. We'll do a debug.log and just say camera registered and then pass in 
the name of that camera. And we'll just swap this to camera unregistered. Okay, so now we need the actual camera switching functionality. So what we can do is we can say public static void switch camera and we can do a Cinemachine virtual camera call camera. And what we want to do is we want to set the priority of the camera that we're wanting to switch to. We want to set it high, so higher than all the rest. It doesn't really matter as long as it's sort of above whatever we set the other ones to in a second. Um, but I just put 10 just to, just to make sure. And also we can set the active camera is now this camera that we've switched to. So after that, we want to do a for each and we can do a for each Cinemachine virtual camera, which we'll call C in our cameras list. If C, so if the camera that we're currently looking at in that list is not the camera we're trying to switch to, then we want to do C priority equals zero. So here we are, we're going to ask to switch to, we're going to ask to switch to the camera and we're going to pass in the camera that we want to switch to. We're going to set that camera's priority uh, to 10. So that's going to be higher than zero, which is what we set all of the other cameras to. So we're going to change priority. We're going to make our active camera be the camera that we've just switched to, just so we can keep track of that. And then, and then we're just checking for every camera in this camera list, as long as that camera that we're looking against isn't the camera that we're trying to switch to, we're going to change that camera, uh, camera's priority to zero. So we're going to just knock them all down and just make sure that this camera priority is the one that's the most, which is the highest. And finally, the last kind of method we want, um, in this script is we can do a public static bool called is active camera, which again will take in a Cinemachine virtual camera called cam camera. And this is just going to return whether the camera we're checking is the active camera. So if it equals the active camera. This is a, a long winded way around this. Let's just check that our cameras are registering themselves. So we just need to come to our player script and just make sure that we assign the um, cameras to the correct location. And then if we hit play, we can see that camera registered third person cam, camera registered first person cam. So back in our player script, we can see that the registering um, so now we just want to actually switch the camera. So we can do an, so if we press space, this is going to be our camera switching button. We can check whether the uh, camera switcher dot uh, is active camera third person cam. So is the third person cam the currently active camera? If it is, then obviously we want to switch to our first person cam. And else if camera switcher dot is active camera first person camera, then obviously we want to switch to our third person camera. As a slight optimization, um, what we could do here is we could say that if the camera that we're looking at isn't the camera that we're trying to swap to and that camera's priority is not equal to zero, oh, then we'll swap it to zero because there's no point changing it to zero if it already is zero. So we can just check whether it is and then move on if it is or actually swap it if we need to. Um, so, uh, so what we just want to do is we can do on enable we can register our cameras and then we can
then we can just switch to one of those cameras. Um, obviously, this could be a player preference. They could have a default camera as a first person camera or a third person camera, or you could just hard program in like this. Um, so we'll register our cameras and then we'll make sure that we switch to our third person camera and that'll make sure that our active camera isn't null. So we've registered our cameras, it's swapped to our third person camera, we hit space, we transition to the first person, hit space, transition back. Uh, you can see that this is quite a slow transition. Um, you may like that, you may want to change it. If you do want to change it, you just come down here to my camera, come to the Cinema Machine blend, and then one thing you could do is you could set this to something like 0 0.75 and hit play. And you see that it's a lot quicker. Or you could just uh, cut directly to the, net, the other camera. So we're swapping between the first person and third person. So you see that working there. But that's it for this video. It was just a little quick one. Hope it was useful. If it was, it'd be great if you could like the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. As always, the project files for this will be over on my Patreon, which the link is in the description below. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.